Oh, hello. This is Pauline here, and I just wanted to show you this jungle that I'm amongst. And no, it's not actually a jungle. It's just six foot tall carrots. Let me give you a spin around on the camera so you can see. So to me, this is just incredible. These are carrots. And every one of those little flower heads belongs to a carrot plant. So let me just show you this bit. If we follow this down, down there at the bottom, like here's one, that's a carrot. If you follow it up, there's probably four or five seed heads on the top. This one's pretty incredible. Each of these here is a seed. Like every one of these little prickly things, the seed, each little prickly thing. Look how many are on this thing. This would easily be like $12 worth of seeds if you were to buy them. Like a little packet of carrot seeds, you might get like that much in it. This thing has like $12 worth of carrot seeds. And I've got a sea of them. Clearly I should go into carrot seed business, although it would be a pokey business. These things have little spinies on them, which is why they've completely overpopulated my garden. Um, it's kind of incredible, and we never have a lack for carrots, but they become a bit of a weed. That's asparagus gone to seed. The yellow flowers are dill gone to seed in the foreground. This all is cilantro gone to seed. Um, lots of dill in there going to seed. The sorghum is going to seed. I planted that because I thought it would be ornamental and beautiful. And it's kind of not really. It's just kind of goat food now. <laughs> but everything's going to seed from the garden. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's a forest. So, let me flip you around again. So, consequently, we have a lot of work cut out for us um, pulling these carrots, ideally before they shed their seeds. So, something we have devised is we have seven children, and there are times when we need punishments, especially with boys, it can be often. Um, and what better way than to get them outside, break up the day, and also, give them a just punishment is they have to go outside and pull 50 carrots. And um, it becomes chicken food. We feed these to chickens, the chickens go crazy, the goats love them too. So they're not just like doing nothing and it's worthless, they have to sit in a corner or something like, or I don't know, go to the principal's office and have to sit there and be berated. Like this is like real active work. They go out here, pull carrots for me. It's helping the family, helping the farm. They're helping the goats, the chickens, and also they're making a mental memory that whatever I did last time, I don't necessarily want to do again because it's a little bit warm outside and pulling carrots and getting carrot seeds on you isn't as fun as maybe doing the dishes when I should have been instead of playing Legos sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's great for everyone and you know, it's, it's awesome. What better kind of a weed problem would I like to have than an entire garden full of carrots? Yeah, it's work, life is work. Um, I probably could have protected the gardens a little bit better, but I didn't, and now we have a giant carrot problem, but it's a good problem. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Go out and live life abundantly, and I will, whoo, it's getting windy. I will talk to you next time.